know by the title, this is gonna be my New York vlog. As a Gossip Girl fan, genuinely New York is like my dream place to come and visit and I just can't wait to see all of the little Gossip Girl spots. So I'm really excited to take you guys along with me on this little travel vlog. I'm actually here for 10 days in total, but I'm only gonna be vlogging the first five just so that I can have a little bit of time away from the camera and actually experiencing New York. We are actually staying in this hotel called the Arlo Nomad, which is in mid Manhattan and it's genuinely a great hotel. Oh yeah, but we had this whole palaver yesterday because the hotel, our room wasn't quite ready and then we had a couple of things, um, but they were really nice about it and ended up upgrading us, which I'm so glad happened because they gave us the most incredible view, which I'll show you guys, and I just can't even believe that we're here. Obviously we were really jet lagged this morning, so I woke up at like 6 a.m. and we got to see the sunrise over the Empire State Building from our room, which is just, I can't even believe that's, like it doesn't even feel like real life. This is genuinely, I feel like the trip of a lifetime. And this hotel is actually not ridiculously expensive. And I definitely think it's worth, it's not like the most luxurious hotel, but I definitely think it's such a good like trade for your price in New York. So we've, we've really been loving it. As you can see, this is our room. We've tried to keep it really tidy for the vlog. And I'm, I'm here with my boyfriend, Josh, who she was just nipped out to go and get um, breakfast. But I feel like if you have a boyfriend, you know, like my boyfriend, is not gonna be willing to be in front of the camera that much, which I appreciate. So I'm pretty sure it'll just be me talking to the camera for this vlog. So yeah, this is our first full day and I'm so excited to go to Soho and see the rest of New York. And I'm just gonna like let you guys see this view now because I've been talking for too long. But like, oh my goodness. Honestly, the amount that you'd pay for a room like this in New York, like I can literally see the top of the Empire State Building from my bed, like from lying down in bed. It's just incredible. Honestly, there's nothing like it. I can't believe how spoiled we've been. And if you come back, it's like a full, it doesn't even look real, but it's a full window right the way down. And it's so far from the ground that you actually, I can't see the ground. Like you literally can't see the ground. Um, I think we've definitely lucked out with our hotel and yeah, I'm just so happy to be here. I hope you enjoy this vlog. If you're coming to New York soon, then I know you won't be disappointed. I'm already just in pure heaven. So get really excited for your trip and I'll see you guys soon. We're just on Fifth Avenue. It is so cold outside. I'm genuinely dying all day. We've been like so cold. We've got our little five pound hand, warmer, hand warmers from Amazon and they're just like really not cutting it in this Arctic conditions. So yeah, we've walked so far today. How far have we gone? Right, 15K. 15K we've walked so far. So um, we've got a um, ticket to go see the top, top of the rock tonight. I literally can't speak today. Top of the rock, I must be so excited. And we're gonna see the sunset over New York. And also it said it's gonna be cloudy and it's actually looking pretty blue so far. So cross fingers, it will still be blue skies and we'll get to see a really good sunset because it was 10 pounds extra, so if it's cloudy then, that'll be a bit annoying. But we're just walking there now, and we did a spot of shopping this morning. I went to Aritzia, which genuinely made all my Aritzia dreams come true because I've really wanted to go there for so long. So yeah, I went there and I got two bodysuits, and I think I'm gonna go back and get another one. Um, yeah, it's really good. Honestly, all the girls there, I was like, this is exactly, I'm trying to be like you, my boy. Yeah, we're just on our way to the Rockefeller now and also we want to stop at Abercrombie because we both really want to get a pair of new jeans and I tried on some gold ones in uh, in Aritzia which were not quite right and they were £200, £200, sorry, I need to stop saying pounds, dollars and they just weren't quite right so I'm not going to spend all that money but yeah, so, so next time we see you guys we'll probably be at the top of the rock or in Abercrombie trying on jeans, either way. <laughs> it in Josh's hat. <laughs> now, I don't know how long we're gonna be here for considering it's freezing cold. But yeah, this is us at the top of the rock. Oh dear. For this trouble in your mind. We literally stumbled across Times Square while we were having breakfast. We literally got 
of bed in trackies and hoodie to go and get some breakfast. I don't even want to show you the state of me right now. But we found Times Square on the way and it's just, it's even better than you can imagine. As you can see today, today is just the most like glorious blue sky day. Actually, like, are you kidding me? It looks like a, it looks like a cartoon, it doesn't even look real. And the other thing I love is that all of the, what? Should show the camera with me. Should we do it? Should we do an OOTD? Right, so this is my little OOTD. So this is Josh's hoodie, my Anishka coat, trackies, and my bag. And it's a look like this is what I plan to look like in New York. These are all of my New York outfits. Woo! I honestly have so many cute outfits that I haven't um, haven't worn because it's just so cold, and I just want to wear trackies every single day. And I think the thing is in New York, like actually, no one cares. Like. No one is dressing nice in New York. Everyone's just in trackies and pajama bottoms. That's what I'm kind of living for, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be getting into a trench coat anytime soon. Although it's gonna be 15 degrees today. Josh, it's just too early for you to touch the camera, really, isn't it? Oh, I'm not even giving me the time of day. Anyway. Three, two, one, and action. We just got back to the hotel after Times Square, which You'll have seen it was incredible but i just got ready now because we wanted to go out and get some pictures and go for some coffee well i wanted to go out and get some pictures so it's finally weather that's not freezing cold so we're gonna get some pictures we're gonna go for a nice coffee and i thought i'd do a little mini haul of what i've got so far because um i'm sure you guys want to know so from aritzia the first thing i got is this bodysuit which i'm wearing and i have been wanting this bodysuit for such a long time i just think it's such like a wardrobe classic and it's like a real capsule wardrobe piece i went for it in white just because i thought like with spring that it would be a good time to pick up white but i'm feeling like i might go back and get black as well because i do think that it's just such a handy wardrobe staple and i'm wearing them and i'm wearing it with my naked trousers today which is finally like an outfit which isn't a hoodie and trackies or leggings to wear out and then i also went for this gray top which i wasn't entirely sure on but i decided to go for it because i thought it'd be really good for when it gets a bit warmer and it's basically this top with a little collar with like a sleeveless collar and i just think it's like really cute i feel like it would look really nice with some jeans so i've got that and then we went to Sephora this morning on Times Square and it was so quiet. We were literally the first people in there. So um, I picked out a few different things. So first up I got this Sunday Friday, Summer Fridays body lotion, which is this coconut smell and I love coconut. So I went for that one. And then if you guys didn't know, I love the Jizu hair products, like even better than Olaplex. I genuinely think they're the best products which I've ever tried. Um, and I actually have this hair oil already, but I spilt it all over my bag, which is so annoying. So I decided to get a little mini travel size one, which would be really handy. And then I also got the Honey Infused Hair Mask, which I love as well. These are like two of my favorite hair products. So I went for those two um, to give me nice shiny locks because I'm really drying out. Like my skin is just so dry from being in New York. So yeah, I got these two for when I wash my hair. Um, and that's everything I've bought so far in New York. I'll definitely let you guys know if I buy any more things, but um, I'm trying like not to just buy stuff for the sake of it. Um, but what? I am trying not to buy stuff for the sake of it. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna go out to Soho now, back to Soho and get um, some pictures and coffee. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. shopping I got a new perfume uh, which I absolutely love it's my favorite perfume ever so I'm so happy that I got another bottle of that from Bloomingdale's and now we're just heading to this cute little jewelry shop called Adina Jewels um, which <laughs> across in the street which is really cute it's just here so we're gonna have a look at those yeah. Yeah. that's really cute I saw someone else go here on that um, 
on their New York vlog, so we're coming and have a little look. dry bar appointment book to get my hair blown out and I've had a little hot girl walk and now I'm sat on the steps of the New York library it's just the most glorious day again and I'm having another chacha matcha this is their purple drink with matcha in it and it's honestly like heaven it's like lavender and I'm just feeling like just so zen this morning I'm so excited to get my hair done because it's actually so greasy I'm like embarrassed to even be showing the vlog this but um, <laughs> I'm really excited I think I'm gonna get like Hollywood waves and just feel really nice and fresh this is my view Everywhere in New York is just incredible. I feel like, I definitely understand why people want to come and live here and like their dream is New York City because it is incredible. Definitely parts of it are like more run down and then others are really nice, but I guess it's just the same with all cities. But yeah, I love it so much here and the New York Library is just stunning. That was a person then. And the New York Library is just amazing. So I'm just sitting here for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna make my way over to my hair appointment, which is at Bryant Park. But I honestly did have a full-on hot girl walk, like I was strutting down Fifth Avenue with my headphones on listening to Beyonce. Like what a morning, what a way to start the morning. But um, I don't think I finished off the vlog last night. I feel like I'm really bad at finishing off the vlog in the evenings because I just get so tired. But we went to Little Italy and we got, um, you'll have seen me in the jewelry shops, um, in the jewelry shops. I went to Missouri and Adina's, but um, we went to Little Italy and had the best pizza of my life even better than the one we had in Paris. It was just incredible. It's another warm day in New York. It's not so cold today, which is good. Um, so I'm just gonna enjoy my matcha. in the blow dry salon because it was genuinely huge with the roots that it was gonna look a bit silly but it's dropped out now and I love it I think it's so cute I feel it's so fresh and um, I definitely think it's worth it just for the fact that I don't have to wash my hair now um, and she said that I can leave it in scrunchies which will keep it nice and curly and it looks so pretty so I personally wanted to go and do something really nice because I've got nice hair but Josh wants to go for a Maccas which I feel like is an abomination considering we've got Maccas at home but he wants to try like different sauces and stuff so that's what we're doing today I guess and then just some more shopping we don't really know what to do with ourselves apart from like going shopping we've done a lot of the touristy stuff as you've seen but we've still got some more stuff booked in but we've just got lots of spare time so we're gonna have another look around the shops I think it's not as bad because Josh actually has things that he wants to buy as well so I don't feel as as bad and he's been shopping for shoes and stuff which has been um an interesting experience so yeah we're already now and yes I have worn this Aritzia top since I got it I'm thinking I'm gonna get some more colors because I just don't want to take it off like I don't want to wear anything else so I definitely want to get maybe a couple more colours of it because I do think it will be such a wardrobe staple for at home and I've had a look on loads of websites and I've not been able to find a bodysuit like this because I hate crop tops and a lot of them are like this sort of look but with in a crop top so um, yeah I'm very really happy that I found this one and I'm definitely going to go and pick up a few more colours. 100% the best thing about New York is this dog here. They're all so cute and happy. And there's like a little small dog section around the corner and it's just so cute. This is Madison Square Gardens. I'm going to say I could stand here all day. Like the little small dog section in there is so cute. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. I want a dog. You can't go in unless you've got a dog. And I want to go in. Went to his dog and then we're looking at 
Someone had a tiny little puppy that they were that they were playing with, a little cockapoo, and I want a little cockapoo so bad. It's literally adorable. I love it. This is by far the best part of New York. Oh look, look, this is the little small dog section. Tiny like little puppies. Oh, stop. You're a dog person, too. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> Morning, guys. Welcome to day four of New York. Definitely hitting us now. I'm definitely feeling quite tired and my feet are so sore, but we still have so much more exploring to do. Today we're gonna to go to Central Park, I think, and we also wanted to try Top of the Rock again while it's sunny because the weather has just been incredible now. It's definitely taken a turn and we're finally experiencing some nice weather. Honestly, yesterday I just went out in this top and that was it and I felt really warm all day. So um, I'm really happy that it's turned warm again. I've only bought jumpers, so I've really only got like two tops. This one's actually new from Maurizia. So um, I bought this top and yeah, it's quite warm outside, but I'm excited to get out there. We're gonna go for another bagel again today because you know the drill, bagels in New York. Honestly, I definitely 100% recommend bagel in New York. You'll, you'll be addicted. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna go back to living without them. They're like, kind of like sausage and egg muffins, but like on steroids, they're just so good. So we're gonna do that, maybe get a chat to match later. And I do realize that I wanna get better at filming the evenings, particularly the food, because I keep not filming our dinners, it's just quite crazy in the restaurant. So um, I'm definitely gonna show you guys more of what we're eating. Oh, but I just realized that I bought sushi but forgot to get chopsticks. So, I'm eating with my hands, I guess you can't have it all. That looks so good though. And the sun's going down. Crazy. I may or may not have vlogged consistently. I think I vlogged one thing yesterday, which was lunch, which I'll maybe like put in, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. But to be honest, we've just been like crazy manic doing stuff. So I didn't like actually have a chance to put out a vlog camera. I've just been a bad YouTuber. But um, yesterday was a really good day. We um, had our anniversary. So we went to Zuma for sushi for dinner, which was incredible. It was genuinely the best sushi I've ever had. And then we just went shopping in Soho again, which like you guys have seen, so you're already bored of that. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna vlog much today. I'll try and get a little bit in, but um, we're going to the 9-11 Museum um, this afternoon, which obviously I'm not gonna vlog at. So um, maybe I'll show you dinner. I don't really know. I should have probably closed off this vlog before, but um, I do wanna show you dinner tonight. So I'll do dinner tonight and then we're leaving tomorrow evening, which is really sad, but in some ways like, I'm definitely ready to get back home where you don't have to pay tax <laughs> on everything afterwards. You don't have to pay tax. Then. Yeah, but it's in the bit, like in the thing. Like, I just want to say it's three pounds and it just be three pounds. That's what I'm most excited, excited to get home for. But um, yeah, so we're going out now and I've just got on a plain outfit. I've got on this Aritzia top again and it actually is embarrassing, but like I just love this top. I know I'm gonna wear this so much and I just like love basic fits at the moment. Like I, I don't wanna feel uncomfortable. Like I just wanna feel really comfortable and nice in like a nice white top and blue jeans. I got these yesterday from Zara. Zara here is so expensive. These jeans were like $60. Uh, I'm actually not okay. And then we got to the till and I realized this top I picked out, which I'm actually gonna return because it's not quite right. But um, this top I bought was $60 as well. And I was like, this would literally have been 20 pounds. Oh, and I also got these amazing shoes. 
I'm so, like, these are literally the highlight of New York. Like, just, that can be a thumbnail. <laughs> And like they've got a really nice heel high. I wore them out for sushi yesterday and they're so sparkly in, in the dark. And definitely love those. Those are just a Zara purchase. Obviously, they're a Mac and Mac dupe, but I actually think they're way nice, the Mac and Mac with the sling back. Um, a bit like Amina Mwadi. So yeah, we're gonna go and do some more shopping and then we've got the 911 Museum and then I'll catch you with you guys later. But we're probably really far through the vlog now, so hopefully you've been enjoying it and I will catch you soon. We just finished at the 9-11 memorial. It was so sad, but they closed at four, which I thought was quite early. But, what? No, they closed at four. And we're just walking through Soho now. We wanted to go for lunch at St. Piani's, but they've not got any availability, so that's fine. We're gonna look for some other places. They're a good pizza place, which looks good. But Josh is actually really getting into the swing of uh, shopping at the moment. So we've been shopping for him all day. Oh, look how pretty that looks. I'm gonna miss New York so much, but yeah, Josh's really been getting into the swing of shopping, which has never happened before. So I've been chasing around after him all afternoon. And now we've still got more to do. Like, what is this all about? But yes, yeah, so it's our last day tomorrow, and we're gonna. Um, why am I so out of breath just from walking? But um, we're gonna. What, what was our plans for tomorrow? Oh, we said we're gonna do 9 11, but we've done that. So maybe we might go uptown. Uptown? Well, I don't know what else we're gonna do, babe. Our flight's not till the evening though, so we've got loads of time to do something. I don't know, we're just taking it one day at a time. But I really am regretting not booking Cipriani's. That would have been so good, but oh well. I think it's going to be raining today. And why is the rain? All I see is good vibes. With me. <laughs> 